Welcome to an overview of Trimble Connect to Fab. Once you have received a model from your design and detail department using Trimble Cisco software, you are ready to upload that into the Connect ecosystem. Having uploaded the Connect to Fab demo.ifc file here and loaded it into the Trimble 3D viewer, we are now ready to use Trimble Connect to Fab. We first click the Connect to Fab icon on the left panel which loads all visible models into Connect to Fab's tool palette. As we begin to expand the nodes under our IFC model, we can see that Trimble Connect to Fab supports all three trades. In addition, as we expand, we see categories, subcategories, and spools that were previously defined using Trimble Cisco software. In addition to those predefined spools and categories, we can define our own using Connect to Fab. We will do that by clicking the Add Subcategory button, which adds a new category underneath the level we've selected. By clicking on New Category, we can rename that. In this case, we'll choose Roof Drain, or RD for short. Now we're ready to create our first spool by clicking the Define button. By clicking that, we hide everything that's already part of another spool so that we don't accidentally double spool anything. This gets rid of some of the clutter and allows us to zoom right in and quickly start selecting things we'd like to add to the current spool. We do so by clicking and holding the Control or Shift button to add items to the current spool. Once we're finished, we click and define. After we've defined our spool, we can go ahead and give that spool a name that makes sense. And at this point, we're ready to continue down the run and continue with our next spool. However, we're finished with this, and it's a pretty small spool, so we're going to go ahead and mark this spool as ready for fabrication. Connect to Fab allows users to mark things as ready for fabrication. It allows you to edit the spools, delete them, view them in a painted color, or open the spools for more detail. For more detail, we'll select a larger spool that's a little bit more complex. Once we open the spool, we can see all of the detailed dimensions for the given spool. In addition, we have information on the left side where we can mark the spool as ready for fabrication, we can show or hide different information, or we can dig into the different schedules related to this spool. All of the schedules give information needed in order to assemble the spool correctly. In this case, if I click the pipe accessory spool, all pipe accessories are highlighted and all of the data in the data table shows me exactly the information I need to assemble this. The same would work well for our pipe fittings or our pipe schedule, which would show you all of the different lengths of pipe you need to cut that are grouped by size. This has been a demo and overview of Trimble Connect to Fab. Thank you.